Hear thee, hear thee, hear thee. Marvel gives up. Are we surprised at all? Is any of us surprised? No. No, we're not. Because they make shit. That's what they do. Since the Infinity Saga has ended, I don't even understand what Marvel's about. I don't even know where they're going. I have no clue. They keep saying they're releasing this, they're releasing that. They'll release this, they'll release that. None of it lines up. None of it is linked together. I don't know where they're going with it. So, apparently, they've decided, you know what? We're going to cancel a few things. So, in an MCU report, no Eternals 2, no Captain Marvel 3, Ant-Man 4 has gone, as Disney gets risk-averse. Now, Ant-Man 4, they could make... It's not the character. There's nothing wrong with Ant-Man. Ant-Man's a great character. Paul Rudd, absolutely brilliant. It's the writers, the directors. It's the fact that you have these new directors that have never made a movie before. This is what Mar the Marvel or Disney keep doing. They keep bringing in directors with no experience, bringing them in, having them direct a film, but over the shoulder they've got seven heads all whispering in there. No, you can't do that. No, you need to do this. No, you can't do that. No, you need to do this. You're never going to get a good film when there's too many chefs in a kitchen. The old saying of too many chefs spoils the, the broth. It's the same for a reason. It, it holds up. And Marvel just seem to have got so much red tape in the movies nowadays that they're just... Do you know what? Who was it? Um, the camel. The camel is a horse brought to life by... Oh, what did he used to say? The camel is a, la is a horse brought to life by a committee. And that's what it is, and that's what they keep doing. Um, so, Disney has previously been thought to be scaling back the MCU, which has recently become overloaded with unperforming films in theatres and vastly expensive shows on Disney+. Plus. Vastly expensive. Vastly expensive. You've got shows like Reacher. You've got shows like Shogun, which is on Disney or Hulu. Which is, if they just did stuff like that on Disney. All they have to do is look at Shogun and look how good that is. And what, they could, what they're capable of doing, it really is weird. We may be hearing what that looks like in practice. Daniel Richman is reporting that Eternals 2 is no longer in development. Good, we don't need another one of them. And the other potential projects like the third Captain Marvel movie. Good, we don't need another one of them. Nobody likes it. I do think they should make a Ms. Marvel movie. I think they should give that young Indian bird a chance. Because, as I said in my last video, me and my son watched Ms. Marvel on a Sunday when we were bored. It was just something to watch. And because it was so different from the rest of the Marvel Universe at the time, we, I didn't dislike it. Yeah, it was made for teenagers. But because I was with a 14, my 14 year old son and we watched it together, it, it was all right. I didn't mind it. It didn't really link to anything either. So it was all right. And I think they need to give her a chance because she, she is a really good little actress. So I think they should give her a shot at something. Stick her in somewhere. Um, don't just get rid of her fully. And then, no fourth Ant Man. As I've just said, there's nothing wrong with Ant Man. It's not him that's the problem and it's not the character, it's everything around it. If you've been tracking Marvel hits and misses, these three specifically may not come as a huge shock as something Marvel does not want to invest in from here. All perform poorly. You're not asking the question why they performed poorly. That's Why don't they ask themselves internal questions? Why did it perform, perform poorly? Who are we trying to get this movie out to? Oh, we want to expand our audience. There is no more audience. There's only so many people in the world. And the people that like comics are already, and um, what like superhero movies, are already going to watch your movies. And whether you like it or not, 70% of them, probably even more, are men and boys. 
that's not to say girls don't love superheroes they do but it's like people that say there needs to be a black superman or a, 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 a then i say a black batman they do know that black people like superman too as is a lot of people black people like batman as is they know he's white they've they still wear his shirts they still love him for as as superman and it just frustrates me that they can't see they don't ask themselves these internal questions oh these characters have fans yeah they do black white chinese asian every color under the sun the audience is already there You've seen it with the Infinity Saga. People will come out and watch it. It baffles me. So, apparently they're getting rid of a few projects. And it's no wonder why. Because nobody's surprised. You need to. And uh, we can only see how it goes. But they do need to fix it. They really do. Because it's... It's lost at the moment. It's it's literally just walking around a maze on its own, not knowing where it's going. Because there's too much bloody red tape. Too much I hate using the word, but the 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 wokeness has creeped in. You got people in suits probably deciding. Get out. Anyway, what do you think? Who do you think they should keep? Who do you think they should get rid of? Shang-Chi needs to go. That needs to get booted. I'll tell you that for nothing. If you're going to do a Kung Fu movie, do a Kung Fu movie. Not get some actor in that's never done Kung Fu in his life. Get a director that knows how to direct Kung Fu movie. I mean, Ip Man exists, for God's sake. Jesus. Ugh, frustrating. But, and Kung Fu Hustle exists. Best superhero Kung Fu movie ever made. Come on. Book your ideas up. Anyway, see you in the next one. Love you, leave you. I'm out.